name is Juan Carlos and I am a student at Jones Technical Institute. Today's video we are going to be covering a brake inspection. We're going to be going over a few of the components and a few of the things that we're going to be looking for uh, while we're doing our preventative maintenance and just all around inspections on our vehicles. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to be doing while we're going through our brake inspection is we're going to actually check out the, the drum or the barrel. This is the part that goes outside and houses all of our braking components. So we have here a little outside micrometer. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the steering gear, the process, and we're going to take a couple different measurements. We're going to make sure that this is not out of round or worn down too far and maybe needs a replacement. Okay? So what we do is uh, find ourselves a point and we match this other slide over and we compare it with our other readings. Okay, so we've got about 16.45. Okay, we'll come over here. Same thing, read it. 16.47, pretty good. Let's take a third reading right here. 16.48. So this is very minutely out of round, still within specs. We would, if we had to replace these shoes, we would go ahead and replace the shoes, um, the rollers and the springs, and we would leave the barrel just fine in its place. This, but this is uh, the other side of the barrel, and kind of hard to read, but it says that the max diameter is 16, 16.62, and that's how you know what the minimum spec is going to be to see if these uh, drums, or uh, hat or barrel, as they call them, um, to make sure that it's not worn down out of spec. As long as you are above the 16.62 on this particular one, you're in spec and you're good to go. Um, the next thing that we're going to be going and inspecting is uh, the actual shoes here. We're going to take a tape measure and we're going to measure out uh, the thinnest part of the brake shoe. Okay, so you see right here we've got a lot of life, but you see how it tapers down, it tapers down right here on the end. So this is the, actually the little part that we're going to be measuring out right here where my thumbnail's at. Um, and that's got to be above a quarter inch. So we're going to go ahead and get our tape measure. We're going to measure that out. And a here few we are things. back in our brake shoe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up that one inch mark uh, where the mounting plates, sorry, I wasn't even named on that, uh, where the shoes meet the mounting plates, okay? So that's at the one inch mark right there. And it looks like it's uh, got a little bit over half of an inch. So that means that these brake shoes would still be within spec. Uh, this is just a brake uh, inspection. So we're gonna check that as good and we're gonna continue on our inspection process. Uh, next part is we're gonna be uh, removing this right here. We've already got the, the, the nuts off of the axle end here. And we're gonna be removing this housing and we're gonna be taking the wheel bearing out of that uh, eventually taking this barrel part off of it and we'll have a free-floating axle. We're going to disconnect the shoes, the springs, the cams, the rollers, all and that we stuff. We are back at our uh, wheel bearing. We took our adjustment and jam nuts off of there. Uh, we're trying to get that out. Don't worry about that. Uh, we got, this is what I wanted to touch on, these springs here. Uh, these are what's holding your brake shoes together and in place and a quick check on these should be for you to take some pliers and pull down on them they should be pretty sturdy they should fight you they should still be in good service if uh if they're wobbling then that means it's time to replace those guys uh we've got these two on this side to check out and then we've got this uh bigger one uh and it's only on one side over here but same thing, you're going to be checking to see how tight those springs are, how well they're holding up against this abuse. Uh, we're going to go ahead and disconnect those, pull these shoes off. So we ran out of that truck, or out of that frame, I should say. Uh, what we're going to be looking here is we're going to be checking out all these little teeth, making sure that they ain't got no wear marks on them, not too messed up, uh, no mars, no cracks in them. We're going to make sure it's not leaking any grease in there. Okay backside make sure that everything's in its place as it should be no excess grease no excess oil 
This bearing looks like it's in pretty good shape still. We'll probably go ahead and reinstall this uh, and keep it going. The rest of our assembly completely taken apart. As you can see, we just got a floating axle hanging out. Uh, another thing that we're going to inspect here are the the threads on the end of that. We're going to make sure that they're not marred up and make sure we don't have to re-thread uh, that. Right? That's looking okay. A little bit beat up, but not too bad. This is really the issues that I had over here. My slack thruster is super dirty. That all needs to be cleaned out. Those teeth need to be fully inspected and make sure that they're engaging properly. Um, we got this cotter pin here that's holding it in place, but as you can tell, it's on its last little strand there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and replace that. These fittings here, uh, this one here is a little bit chewed up, so we're probably gonna have to go ahead and replace that one. Uh, this one had actually some, I don't know if you could even see it, but it's got like some gasket material uh, that they used to maybe seal an air leak right there. We'd go ahead and replace that one as well. Um, my S cam here, oh, it's just falling out. It's kind of okay, but super dirty and in need of some preservation. See, as you can tell, that grease is beyond its life, dirty, murky. It's got some dirt and grime in there. We'd go ahead and uh, clean all of that off and put some fresh wheel bearing grease and stuff in there. Make sure that everything is uh, lubricated properly and extend the life of these components. Uh, as you can tell, we've got all these other things here. These rollers, these rollers actually don't look too bad. They're not beat up, they're not, um, marred or nothing so we'd probably go ahead and put those back but it definitely needs some hardware issues um, the lines itself we're gonna inspect those two uh, this one's got a little bit of a tear you can see right there uh, it's not exactly all the way to the core but I would still go ahead and replace that um, the fittings themselves on the lines were okay so I don't know it depends on really on what they want to do with it uh, but this is our complete teardown. What we're going to be doing now is uh, reassembling everything, torquing everything back down to spec, and uh, write all of the discrepancies on our work order uh, to hand on uh, up to the service manager and, uh, you know, get the work done. Okay?